Hello friends, in this video I am going to solve a question from GATE Mathematics 2018. So the question is gamma with a circle which is given by z is equal to 4 into e raised to i theta where this theta varies from 0 to 2 pi and we have asked about this close line in uh, close integral e raised to z upon z square minus 2z dz so and the options are given so to find out the value of this integral we will use Cauchy's formula Cauchy's integral formula so this formula is f of a is equal to 1 upon 2 pi i integral cos integral over the curve gamma f of z upon z minus a dz. So, where a is a point of singularity. So, here we have the function as e raised to z upon z square minus 2 z dz. So just compare with this we will get this f of z as e raised to z. But note that this function e raised to z upon z square minus 2 z has singularities at so the singularities of e raised to z upon z square minus 2z are just solve this is equal to 0. So this implies z into z minus 2 is equal to 0. So this gives z is equal to 0, z is equal to 2. Now also note that these two points, singular points, lie inside the given curve gamma or not. So to check whether these are inside the gamma, we just find out the modulus of these two points. So, modulus of 0 is just 0, which is less than 4. Now, uh, since this gamma is given by z is equal to 4 times e raised to i theta. So, on a set of all points on this uh, curve will satisfy mod z is equal to 4. So we want the points which lie inside this gamma. So the modulus of these points must be less than 4. So here this 0 lies in. So this gives 0 belongs to gamma. Similarly modulus of 2 this point is equal to 2 which is less than 4. So this gives 2 also belongs to gamma uh, or two lies inside the closed curve gamma so these two points lie inside the closed curve gamma and hence you have to uh, take the partial fractions and separate these points from e raised to z upon z square minus 2z so write this as e raised to z upon z square minus 2z as e raised to z upon z into z minus 2. Now take the partial fraction of this. So this is e raised to z upon 2 into 1 upon z minus 2 minus 1 upon z. So this is z. Now this gives e raised to z is uh, so take e raised to z upon 2 
इंटू जेड माइनस टू माइनस ए रेस टू जेड अपॉन टू जेड नाउ वी विल यूज कॉशियस फॉर्मूला एज फॉलोज सो फ्रॉम दिस नोट दैट दिस क्लोज इंटीग्रल ओवर गैमा ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड अपॉन जेड माइनस ए डी जेड इज जस्ट इक्वल टू टू पाए आई इंटू एफ ऑफ ए नाउ दिस क्लोज इंटीग्रल ई रेस टू जेड अपॉन जेड जेड स्क्वायर माइनस टू जेड इज जस्ट इक्वल टू दिस सो दिस इज जस्ट इक्वल टू वी जस्ट राइट हियर द पार्शियल फैक्शन ऑफ दिस सो ई रेस टू जेड अपॉन टू इंटू जेड माइनस टू माइनस ई रेस टू जेड अपॉन टू जेड एंड दैन डी जेड सो विच इज इक्वल टू वी जस्ट सेपरेट द क्लोज इंटीग्रल सो इट इज ई रेस टू जेड टू इंटू जेड माइनस टू डी जेड माइनस क्लोज इंटीग्रल ओवर गैमा ई रेस टू जेड अपॉन टू जेड डी जेड ना बाय द कॉशियस फॉर्म्यूला दिस इज इक्वल टू टू पाए आई इंटू एफ ऑफ ए वेर दिस ए इज द पॉइंट सॉरी एफ ऑफ टू बिकॉज टू इज द सिंगुलर पॉइंट ओवर हियर एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू टू पाए आई इंटू एफ ऑफ दिस जेड इज जस्ट जेड माइनस जीरो सो इट इज एफ ऑफ जीरो Now where this uh, function f of z is, we just hide this z minus two factor. The remaining part is your f of z. So f of z is e raised to z upon two. Similarly, you just hide this z minus zero of z, the factor. You will get f of z is e raised to z upon two. So in both the cases, f of z is same. So f of two is e square by two, and f of zero is e raised to zero is one, so it is one by two. So just put the values. We'll get close integral over the gamma e raised to z upon z square minus two z d z is equal to two pi i into f of two is e square by two. Minus this two pi i into f of zero is one by two. This is equal to two pi i. We take common. It is e square by two minus one by two. So this is just pi i into e square minus one. So this third option is correct. Let's say c pi i times e square minus one. This is the answer. Thank you.